Hello guys and welcome back in this new video. Today we are going to backtest a new high win rate strategy by Switch Stats, 260% profit 5 minute scalping strategy. This strategy uses only two and three indicators on TradingView. You can find it, they are Super Trend EMA 200 and it seems really profitable. But as always, uh, my goal is to backtest it on years of data and telling you if it's really profitable or it's basically bullshit. So let's not waste any time and let's talk about the backtesting. But before we start, I remember you that if you want to know more about my software, you want to backtest your strategy or you want more info about it, write me an email that I will leave in the description. So now let's talk about it. As you can see here, I'm showing you the basic results of this strategy. As you can see, it doesn't perform well at all. It doesn't have a 260% profit uh, as, or such an high win rate that uh, you can say, oh, I will be rich. No, basically not. As you can see, it doesn't perform well with the basic conditions. So with uh, such a low average such a straight, it doesn't make sense to make a statistical analysis. But what will happen if uh, we change uh, the conditions of the strategy? Instead of opening a buy position with when the buy conditions are matched, why we can't uh, open a sell position and the same thing for sell? So I decided to try that for this video. So as you can see, here is the code of the buy case and now I opening a sell position instead of buy. And for sell case, I am opening a buy position. But let me show you some examples so ca you can clearly understand what I'm saying. So, um, let's see these three trades. This one, this one, and this one. So, let's see. Okay, let's start with a short one. As you can see here, we have uh, on our chart two indicators. The first one is the, is the super trend with these settings. So you go here, you search super trend, is this one. And the other is EMA 200. So you go here, you search EMA, is this one, this one. And uh, you set uh, this value to 200. And uh, the new conditions are pretty simple. Let me show you better what I'm saying. Let me zoom in. As you can see, now we have uh, the green line of super trend. So with the default strategy, you should have, have opened a buy position. But now instead of opening a buy position, I opening a sell position. And also we have uh, that the data are above EMA 200. So here I opening at the first uh, at the first candle after the super trend turns green at this close a new position setting the stop loss to three times ATR where and ATR is this indicator it gives you a number you multiply it for uh, by three and you set it as stop loss and as you can see with a risk to reward ratio of three you would have been profitable with a success I didn't mention that but I'm testing this strategy on this for expires on the five minute time frame Let's see other trades. In this case, it was a, a success. As you can see, our super trend turns red. So we should have opened a buy position, a sell position. But now I'm opening a buy position, setting my stop plus to three times ATR. We are below EMA 200. That's good. And as you can see, it was a success. Let's see a fail. And uh, here, as you can see, I open it up by position because the, the super trend turn red. We are below EMA 200 and as you can see, it was a fail. But we had three, such, uh, two such as with a nag, uh, with a risk to ratio of three. That's pretty good. In fact, uh, let's see the basic result of the strategy. And as you can see, we have definitely better results than before with the default settings. 26 with uh, like uh, one uh, 11,000 of trades and he backtested it on 800 trades. Now, now we have 
11,000 trades. That's huge. But as you can see, it doesn't perform well with commissions. As you can see, you would have, you would have not been profitable. But with uh, such num high number of trades, we can make surely a good statistical analysis. So let's try with it. Okay, I have already downloaded all the trades. And the first thing I found is that uh, the average success rate in buy and sell is pretty the same. So it's not a bullish, a bullish strategy, neither it's a, a, there is one. But uh, for today's video, I decided to use ADX 14 to improve the strategy. If you don't know what it is ADX, you can go here, you search ADX is this indicator. So I'm basically, I'm checking uh, uh, the value of ADX, the last uh, candles, and I'm checking that at least one candle of them had uh, uh, ADX 14 above 35. And uh, with, uh, uh, by checking in the last 22 plus two candles, so 24 candles, the new average such trade would have been almost 27% here for buy, and for sale would have been like, uh, let's see, almost 27. So we should, we would have made a big improvement of like one percentual point that it's, it's huge for a three to one risk reward ratio strategy. That's pretty huge. Uh, it's not the same as a 1.1 when you have 52. It's pretty different. You, you would have made more and more profit. So, uh, I have already added these conditions and it is here, as you can see, I'm checking for ADX to be about 35 in the last for 24 for candle, at least one, so not for all. And the same things I, I done here, I did here. So now let's try to run the strategy and let's see if these results are correct or not. Let's see how it performs. Okay, as you can see, 26.2. Why? We were expecting like 27. That must have, there must be an error. The software is wrong. Why this, is this happening? Don't worry. There is a reason behind it. Because now we are not opening some positions and new position can be opened. So, as you can see, we have 6,000 of trades now. But from the backtesting file, the statistical analysis file, we had in cell like uh, we were expecting cell like 2,500 uh, 2, trades, and for buy almost uh, the same. So uh, 500 trade, 5,000 trades. But now we have 600, uh, 6,000 trades. Sorry. And that is the reason because new position can be opened and this new position were not as profitable as the one we analyzed in the backtest in the statistical analysis file and that's happening that's happening because you can now we have a new position that must be opened so maybe we should have we should have tried with other conditions or make it more uh, restrictive i don't know for this video, I decided to, uh, to do it because this video is for, for educational entertainment purpose. And as you can see, we now I'm showing you why this, why we have uh, such a different result. So this is not a bug. That's pretty normal. But now let's see how it perf this strategy performs on the test asset. But before I didn't mention that, but it's not statistically profitable. And also with the commissions, uh, you would have lost all your money as always. So let's try to analyze it uh, on the test dataset and let's see if uh, at least uh, the our confidence interval is respected or not. Let's see. Okay, as you can see, our confidence interval is respected. We had an average success rate of 252 that is in the confidence interval we calculated before. It would have been almost here, as you can see. So that's good. Our confidence interval is correct, but the results are not so astonishing. But uh, as you can see, now we have uh, <laughs> we have uh, six thousand of trades. So maybe other 
imp statistical improvements can be made with such a high number of traits uh, and maybe with other condition it would have been performed better i don't know for today's video i decided to add uh, this condition but uh, if you enjoyed this content i remind i remind you to leave a like leave a comment and before i end the video i did <laughs> i forget about it always these are not financial advices i'm not fan i'm not a financial advisors and this video was uh, only for entertainment purpose. Trading is very dangerous uh, and um, I'm not responsible of any use of this strategy. Pay attention. So, <laughs> I now I remember you to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!